Hi, Geminis. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages when I resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into the reading, Geminis. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gemini. It's your season, right? Yes, it is. Messages for the sign of Gemini. We just had the full moon in Gemini as well. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. We're going to talk about the overall energy. Let me turn on my timer because your girl talk. She can talk. Um, what's the overall energy for the sign of Gemini, please? Something is at, at your free will. So it's like you might be having a lot of choices or decisions. It's time for you to choose. And it's up to you. Whatever it is that you want to choose. What's the overall energy for Gemini, please? And thank you. The Ace of Wands is coming out. And then there you are at the bottom of the deck with the Lovers card. Creativity, manifestation, a creative idea. Being inspired here. Maybe you're inspired to go towards a relationship or you're just inspired to make some type of choice here. Um, clarify the Ace of Wands as to why is this the overall energy for Gemini. We have the Knight of Cups. So someone is ready to express something here. Express an idea that's coming to them. Page of Swords. Learning something new. Magician. I feel like this is this could be a forgiving energy where you realize someone may have betrayed you. I mean, that is your energy right there with that Ten of Swords. But, oh shoot, it might have been you. I think, okay, you might have recognized where you may have went wrong somewhere. Like, you, you're just now realizing, like, oh, damn. Where you may have felt good doing it in the moment. But now you realize where you may have either hurt yourself or someone else involved. So now you're having like this idea like where maybe you should show some type of love, compassion, care, respect, honorability. What the hell? Them, those words weren't even what I was thinking about. They just came out of, came out of nowhere. So time for you to some type of some, uh, time for you to maybe apologize or open up about why you did what you did, why things played out the way it did on your side. I feel like you're inspired to talk. You're inspired to show some type of love. I feel like some people don't get you. I feel like some people don't get you. I feel like you don't. You 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 wasn't understood in some way, form, or fashion. Most important messages for Gemini. Most important messages for Gemini. So we have the Moon card. Could be some type of fears i'm hearing doubts <laughs> two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck which is con it could be control needing to control some things juggling have a lot going on to a certain extent the three of pentacles there you building yeah okay you're working on something you've been working on something well it's time for you to work on something you've been going back and forth on opening up to make sure okay yeah i think i think you need to work on something but you've been going back and forth on actually putting the energy time in energy and time into it. I'm thinking you're wondering if you have a have what it takes to make it happen or to pull back from another situation in order to make it happen. I want more. What's what else is going on here? Most important messages for Gemini before I start clarifying some things. The Ace of Swords. So I think you 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 definitely get something now. You understand, you have a clearer understanding. What did I? So the moon is, I'm hearing something about projection. So maybe you feel like something was projected onto you. But let me move forward because that just came up. So the Ace of Swords and the moon card. Maybe you had a dream where you received some type of clarity. Yes, I do feel like something about going back so the people don't get you. So the Five of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you were competing for something. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. There you are. Maybe you're in your head about something long term. Maybe you are in your head about some type of finances. Can I get a little bit more for the sign of Gemini, please? And thank you. I'm trying not to get thrown off too much because I feel like I'm getting a slight distraction. But I'm trying not to get thrown off too much. So we have the King of Cups coming out for you all. Uh, and then we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. 
indecisiveness or needing to make a choice or a decision. Going back to this, okay, you, you, I'm telling you, I feel like you're unsure or you were unsure about working on something or building something with someone. It could have something to do with another person. Um, but you receive some type of clarity either at night, during a dream, or you're, you're understanding that you have to face some type of fear. You have to control your emotions and face this fear. About not wanting to make this choice, opening up to someone, apologizing, being open to an apology. Can I get one more card here for the sign of Gemini? The Page of Cups came out. That's an apology. Opening up to something new. It could be a heartfelt message type of energy. The emotions are flowing here. The world card is at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles, slow motion, but for show motion. Six of Cups, something from the past, or children. Someone worried about something from the past. Or someone could be worried about children. Something has been stagnated to a certain extent. But if someone opens up, I think something will shift here. Let me get some clarification. What's the moon card? The devil. Is it that what? Yep, it's the devil. That's the projection. Thank you, Source. I heard that. Didn't I heard projection? It might be some energy being projected on you, or you may be projecting energy on other people. Okay? I'm just I'm just telling you the messages that I'm hearing or seeing. And seeing, excuse me. The King of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. So you need to use it. It's best for you to use your intuition. And have clear communication about what it is that you want and do not want to deal with. Especially when it comes down to building or building with someone. Come on, give me the help me get all of these messages out. Why would the devil be on the moon besides whatever I was just saying saying? I feel like fears are being projected on you to a certain extent. You might be even having that nightmares or was having nightmares about this. What's the ace of swords? The queen of cups. Queen of swords, excuse me. It's almost coming out in reverse. Someone could be a B-I-T-C-H. You may have been coming across as that. Because of this energy here. Maybe because you were you afraid to open up. Maybe because you were afraid to allow some. No, you're just afraid to open up or maybe not hearing someone hearing someone else, hearing what someone else has to say. Two of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, taking a different approach. Self-love, five of Wands competition. So, okay. Others may be against you. Everybody may not agree with the things that you want or may have done. However, it's time. I think you know that it's time to take a different approach. What are we talking about with just taking a different approach? Like, using your heart while making decisions decisions and choices. Like, respecting yourself when making these choices and decisions. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Learning to express yourself so that you won't be harboring these energies or feelings. Or even projecting those thoughts to other people. Or, it's also about getting in tune with those feelings so that you can trust your intuition. So when things are being projected onto you, you know that's that's when it's happening. What's the King of Cups? Controlling your emotions in order to turn things around here. Someone may have been emotionally out of control. There's that Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't remember what I was talking about at the very beginning, but I feel like there was some choices that needed to be made. You were unsure. I feel like I was talking about that. Worry, doubt, and anxiety. I think some of you all have been feeling like you, uh, you're unsure about how to use your intuition. Yeah, you've been having some type of uncertainty, thinking like uh, maybe you feel like you're not tapped in or you haven't been tapped in. You just don't really know what, what using your intuition is about. And that's okay. It just takes a little time to just follow your gut feeling like, well, okay, um, how, do we exp how to explain? Look at source showing up. Divine guidance. Divine guidance. That's what it really is. It's divine guidance and hearing that call and hearing what source is telling you to do. Your higher self is telling you to do. I feel like I can't quite get into that right now. 
or whoever is feeling that way, but maybe one day I could actually discuss that with following your intuition. It's as simple as damn that. Excuse me. It's as simple as um knowing when you need to go to the bathroom. You know, like oh shoot, I gotta go to the bathroom. Or having the feeling that someone's gonna walk through the door. Having the feeling that someone is gonna call you. Someone popping up in your head. They're probably thinking about you. That type of stuff. It's like that. So the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. Things turning around once you're able to control your emotions and your feelings. Learn to bring in um um balance between them, the uh, emotions and the intellect. So balance between masculine and feminine energies. What's this page of cups? It's the four of wands. It's the four of wands. It's a relationship. It could be celebration. But I feel like if someone opens up, this what this is what this leads to. Celebration, um, reconciliation, maybe. Um, maybe a, a higher level of commitment. Someone opens up. Someone may have been afraid to open up to a certain extent. But I feel like that's because these thoughts may have been projecting on you that these fears and doubts like I said that have been projected on you that has been causing you to not allow things to turn around for you but you know you're being inspired, inspired to do something or allow something to happen type of energy what's this double card let's get back to it we got to clarify this so we have the knight of swords Some of you may have some ha may have had some type of communication that you can't trust something or someone, but that goes back to projected thoughts. I feel. Yeah, that's yeah. It goes back to not knowing how to not knowing if you listen if you're actually listening to your higher self. Um, dark thoughts are coming from dark demonic entities and energy. So you have to re realize when. Your higher self is talking to you. Now, they can warn you about dark entities and energies, okay? However, be aware when dark entities are talking to you, telling you, like, you're not good enough. Those type of energies are coming from lower vibrations. Um, not feeling confident, being weary, being worried, the doubtful energies, fear. That's all coming from the lower self. And um, that's what I feel like has been trying to communicate with you low vibrational dark entities and thoughts trying to communicate you to you excuse me projecting those thoughts into you it's time for you to like control your mind it's time to meditate you're gonna have to learn how to meditate so you can control your thoughts so what's the will of fortune the king of swords tries to come out on the will of fortune thank you swords i just come on come on i just said it literally just said it intellect and emotions it needs to rebalance. It needs to be balanced here. But I feel like once you learn to control those emotions and become emotionally mature and intelligent, that balance things out intellectually. It's like because you learn how to follow your intuition. It all came together. It all came together. Let's move forward. Move forward. What is the advice? Seven of Cups. Learning how to move on when the shit is like not feeling right. Something is some something don't seem right. Something seems like an illusion. It's okay to move on. It's okay to say, um, I don't know about that. Looking at looking at it differently. Like, yeah, y'all look like y'all over there partying and stuff and having fun, but I don't know if I should engage. That type of stuff. Um, you know, moving forward. I about to say, don't go to the party type of ish. Or you better leave before 11. <laughs> What's the seven of cups? Um, the emperor card. I don't want to say it like that. Don't want to say it like that, but I think I need to say it exactly like this. Let's not let the masculine energy send us off because we are not mature enough emotionally. So we ignore we ignoring we are ignoring emotions and how we truly feel, which is the feminine energy, which is causing the confusion, right? So that's the past allowing the patriarch or the patriarchal system to control us. It needs to be a balance of. We need to use the two, masculine and feminine. Because right now, the masculine energy is confused as fuck. Like, what's happening here? Why am I feeling these ways? Especially during this Gemini season, the lover season. It's like, 
people are feeling like, oh, I feel this way. Like, oh, I got this, this, that, and the other. But wait, oh, my heart strings are being pulled at. Adjustment. What is the oh, emperor? Feeling like you need to be perfect. Feeling like I, everything has to be a certain type of way before we do this. Instead of kind of just going with the flow. It's okay to be, it's definitely smart to be smart. But sometimes we just have to use that sensual self. Because that is pretty much what creates the passion within us. I'm going to leave this reading here. I feel like I talked long enough, Gemini. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave it like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.